Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use the um, search export in the growth hacking module. So what this will do is when you have a, uh, a search and you want to extract all of the results, it will go through on all of the pages. Um, we can do up to 100 pages and there's 10 results per page, so it'll be 1000 results. Um, we have also got a separate sales navigator one, however, we'll just be focusing on regular LinkedIn today. Um, so if if you want to extract more than like a thousand profiles, you'll need to segment them based on like country and so on, or add in other keywords. Um, but in this example, we're just going to extract everyone who is in this um, particular search, and then we're going to store them into into Airtable. So we'll create a new scenario within Integromat, then just uh, choose the growth hacking module, and we're just going to do basic search export. Then when you signed up for growth hacking, you would have got your API token. So I'm just going to use a little test one now, add that in here, add in your LinkedIn cookie. And then we're going to come over here and just copy the URL that you want to extract results from. And then in number of profiles, like to start off with, just to keep this quick, we'll just do 10 results. And we can just run it once to give you a, a quick example. Cool. So then if you come into result object, this is where like a lot of people, I think they, they don't realize it shows all the data here. So we can see all the information here. Um, so here we've got the first person, Alfred Tonner. We've got the profile URL, first name, last name, connection, degree, job title, location. And if we come into the search, you can see number one is Alfred Tonner. And then you can go through all of the results. There's the second one should be Benjamin Reynolds, which it is and so on. So obviously it's quite pointless having this data in Integromat. So we can just go ahead and store it in like Airtable. You could also use Google Sheets or um, like any other tool that you want to pretty much. So scroll down to whatever Airtable base you want to um, store this in. So I'm just using testing for now. I'll create table one. And then let's see like what information do we want to extort, um, store. So maybe like we want to make the LinkedIn URL. Uh, first name, last name, connection, connection degree, uh, location, and probably like job title is that's that's good enough for me now. So because it's pulled ten results, generally um, Integromat they only work with like one record at a time by default. So what we need to do is add an iterator. And if you put in the result object, that is then going to allow us to process all 10 records that we have. And then if we go to create a record, that Airtable module, and then we just want to go and add in the Airtable that we're using. Cool. And then from the iterator, we want to add in like the URL, uh, first name, last name, connection degree. Uh, location and job title like you can store in all, all this other information if you want to it just completely depends on your um, on your use case cool so let's hit save and then we're going to run the scenario again now that's finished running you can see it's just it's pulling in the data that we've just scraped from LinkedIn and adding it in the air table so like you can use any tool that you want, you know, you can use Google Sheets, you could sync this over directly to your database, like whatever tools you prefer to work from. Airtable is just like a personal preference of mine. Um, and we can actually then just like spread out this flow and instead we can choose to go ahead and um, return like a thousand results, which is going to be all results in that particular search. And um, so it's going to take a little bit longer to do. Cool, so that has now come through, and because the uh, result is so large, um, what we need to do is add a, we need to add a router, so it's going to return us a file instead of just the plain URLs, because it's going to be like a, a large amount of data. So then we just need to go and add a HTTP
we need to add an HTTP GET request. So we're going to add in the JSON URL, and it's just going to perform a GET request and just click Pass Response. And we just need to add some little filtering in here. So if JSON URL exists, then we're going to root down here. If JSON URL does not exist, then root down here. So that means if you're bringing back a large amount of data, it's going to root down this path. And if you're just taking a small amount, it's going to go down the other path. So then we're just going to do the same again and add in an iterator. And the output will be the data from here. Now, just to like speed this up a little bit, um, we're going to copy the JSON URL. And we can enter it here. So if we just run that module only, and we can just clone over this air table, clone it to the end here. And we just need to reset um, because it's now coming from this iterator instead of this one. Cool. So we're just going to update to this new iterator. So change this back to JSON. We only change that back to get the um, parameters in the end field. So we'll save that there. And we're just going to run again. So it's going to extract a thousand results for us. So there we go, it's now working. A thousand results have been extracted. And if we just come down in Airtable, uh, you can see there they're all being added in. So this will just go all the way up to a thousand. I'll just leave it running so you can see it. Cool. So there we go. All of our records are now extracted into the Airtable base. We've got their location, job title, connection level, first name, last name, and LinkedIn profile. So that is how you extract results from LinkedIn. Um, the same applies for like Search Navigator. Obviously, in this example, we just did basic LinkedIn. Um, and in the next video, I'm going to show you a few different like add-ons that we can um, add into this flow and then we'll also work on building the actual outreach side of things so sending the connection requests to everyone in this um, Airtable base and then following up with like messages and so on so thank you very much for watching any questions feel free to leave them in the uh, comments and yeah I hope this helps you set up your automation flows